Hello, hello, and hi, and good evening. It is a crazy night here at Six Flags Great Adventure. I saw they opened up the Hurricane Harbor parking lot, and it's just absolutely slammed. I saw the clowns in Clown Town just kind of hanging back, trying to stay out of the way, because there's so many people. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you guys looked up on queue times. I put it in my Instagram stories. It's insane. It's like 80 minutes minimum for everything. All of the big rides. If not, they're up at 100 minutes. And then that just means that the food and everything is just crazy. Hey, Heather, what's up? Don't know how good the service or the signal is going to be. It's absolutely slammed here. But I heard that there was supposedly some sort of like show, jump show, stud show here around 8 p.m. I think that's why there's a bunch of people waiting here. Uh, Superman was closed last I checked. Even the Hall of Justice, the uh, Justice League Battle for Metropolis is at like a 75 minute wait. Yeah, that's what the uh, clowns told me, that it was lighter yesterday, but that probably was because of the weather, no? It rained, right? I was out by Dutch Wonderland and it rained. I just don't understand, like, if they're doing the reservations to kind of cap things so it doesn't get this bad, then why, why even bother with the reservations? Okay, I'm glad it looks alright. I was worried that with this many people, the signal would be pretty choppy. Yeah, I'm waiting for those ramps to get used. I saw some, see some bikes and motorcycles and stuff. So let's see. But yeah, if you guys have a second, throw the stream a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll get through this night together. We're going to hang out until the park closes. What is the best haunted house? Oh, that's tough. Of the ones that have, of the ones that I've done this year, um, probably I really liked Haunting of Hill House and Wicked Growth down at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. And then I'm forgetting what the carnival haunt that I did at um, Scary Rotten Farms was called, but that's definitely up there as well. Yeah, for whatever reason, the live stream thumbnail like defaults and because I scheduled it on my computer, I couldn't change it on my phone anywhere. Actually, while we're waiting, I want to see if it will, if it appeared somewhere so I can change it. It doesn't look like I can change it while it's running. But yeah, because I scheduled it on my phone and didn't update the thumbnail there, it does not appear anywhere for me where I can actually do anything with it. it like in Creator Studio, it doesn't show up. Oh, we got up. scary clowns here, so it's not good. But we're going to get started. Uh, give these guys a few warm-up jumps and we'll get it started. Oh, yes. Final show of the night. It's a big bike giveaway. We got a really creepy I don't like I'm Yeah, I went to it. Dorney it's Park a couple weeks ago. I got a vlog and a couple of scare zone strolls up on my channel if you want to check those out. Oh, I didn't know. What's that? The Haunt Express vans are being allowed to be used on other rides? What? That doesn't make any sense. I thought it was only for the mazes. That's... Wow, this music is loud. And super copywritten. <laughs> oh, that's fun. So they're just going around on the bike? I guess so. Huh. I don't understand this. Apparently this is some sort of thing called Hell on Wheels, but it's also being sponsored by the U.S. Army. How peculiar. Alright then. If they're 
gonna be doing all of their work over there. I'm gonna go over this way. I would say they both have their plus and minuses, but right now, uh, Dorney, Dorney is like only at four hours or so, so you don't have much time to do everything. Whereas here, I guess you're just dealing with crowds. All right, this is a better angle. Yeah, I noticed the Disney music. I got pegged for it on uh, when I tried uploading stuff. So I had to like re-edit and uh, get around that. It was kind of a pain in the butt. But I did notice the Disney music. Oh, that was cool. Huh. I can't believe they are letting people use the Maze Express on rides. That makes no sense. That is what the Flash Pass is for. That's just gotta be gunking up the lines, like, insanely so. Well, next song. What other copywritten song do you have for me? What happened? Was that the warm-up? It got so quiet now. Dorney has Disney issues? That's hilarious. <laughs> getting cold that's another reason why i'm surprised there's so many people here towards the end of the night it's supposed to get around like 45 degrees uh last i checked king the car was open i thought the wait times were horrendous just because of the sheer amount of people that are here yep. the u.s army bringing out some people on bmx bikes all right then I don't, can't even understand this dude. He sounds so muffled. Dorney just, they, they've been struggling with the fights and stuff. It's sad to see. I saw two fights, one particularly big one, where they actually turned on the lights and stuff. It was kind of wild. That's why if you see my Carnival scare zone stroll, the lights and the are on and the fog is off, unfortunately. But I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it back in time to like do that over, so it is what it is. You waited 1.5 hours for Steel Force? Oh my goodness. You waited for Platinum Flash Pass for 90 minutes at 11? Woo! Oh my gosh. I mean, Ka always goes down. That's just, that's just the nature of it. Yeah, that was around the time right before they instituted that no back policy. So I got very lucky that I got to experience it when I did. I think that was September 25th. And it wasn't more than a week later that they instituted the no back policy. I wonder if they're still selling flash passes. I imagine they shouldn't be. But who knows with the lines the way they are. No scares? There's scares in the scare zones. I'm just sitting tight here and kind of checking out this thing. It's kind of a one-off little show that they set up for today only. Yeah, we'll go through the scare zones. Clown Town's not too far away. We'll see how that is. Holy shit. That was crazy. Whoa. 
well one it's super crowded so the wait times reflect that and two apparently they've been letting people use the express maze pass just like the flash pass on rides which they shouldn't be and that's going to inflate the lines too but today of all days a sunday night they opened up hurricane harbor's parking lot for additional parking yeah, if you guys go on the Q Times website and search up Great Adventure, you'll see the wait times are somewhere around 80 to 100 minutes. Just an uncomfortable vibe here. <laughs> They say explicitly that Jersey Double Coaster will be open for the holidays. Oh, that's awesome. So how was everybody's weekend? Did you guys get, get to visit any parks? I know that uh, Yahua is uh, coming back from Great Adventure. Oh my goodness. Muzak just hit in the back behind us. What should replace Green Lantern? Literally anything. Anything. Can these people understand them? I think they're going to start throwing shirts. How silly. People love free stuff. It is known. People go cuckoo when it's free. Like those pins, the membership pins. Yeah, 
<laughs> I don't know. I've been on Jersey Devil Coaster around 60 degrees and it was hauling. So I'll be curious to see. That's something that I'll definitely bring up in one of my vlogs. I want to like go on the coldest day possible and see, you know, when it runs. Because I haven't noticed if they have like wheel warmers or anything like that. Yeah, Bizarro sadly is in need of some love. What's the clown doing? Um, is it just taking a photo? I can't tell, is the show over? 10 coldest JDC rides. Yep, that'll get like 5 views. Have I been on Hulk? The one down in Islands of Adventure? Yes. <laughs> that was crazy. Are they playing? This sounds like somebody's wrestling intro music, but I can't place it. Hello, Heather O'Brien, and welcome. They're doing some sort of bike show. Supposedly they're not done, but we might get a move on pretty soon so we can explore the rest of this busy park tonight. Alright, I feel like that's a good place to end it on. It's starting to get really crowded here. So now, uh, walking towards Wonder Woman Last of the Truth, the arena for Dead Man's Party, and then see what it's like right now in Clown Town. You know what's probably a mess right now is Lady of the Lake Cemetery. I almost wish they had the scare actors on the sides again, like they did last year, because there's just no room for them to work with. Hey, who let all these people in? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's up? Not much. Did you just get out of Dead Man's Party? Yes, I am, yep. And where are you going now to Unleashed? Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, you just, this is where you live, oh, back yeah, and forth. Oh, yeah, basically. This, I'm probably going to do the scare zones before I leave. There's so many people here. I know, yeah. So what, crazy. where, why? Why? I don't know, I guess why? we were here yesterday. I was here yesterday. What? I was here yesterday. It was pretty packed. Was it even yesterday? Well, they opened up, they opened up you know, uh, Hurricane Harbor, like, fully. It is? The whole know. parking lot. Yeah, no, it's bad. Oh, okay. right. Well, enjoy Unleashed, dude. Uh, So that's Ricky. He has a, his own channel where I think he posts like cell phone footage of the shows here. And his experience at Fright Fest is basically popping back and forth between Dead Man's Party and Unleashed. Yeah, I really don't know what to expect with Holiday in the Park. It definitely doesn't attract the same amount of attention that Fright Fest does, but who knows. I am not a fortune teller.
you're a diehard DMP enthusiast. There are quite a few of them. They are all about it. That's why I tried to put out all my content for it like as quickly as possible to kind of front load that and then just kind of be able to chill afterwards. Let's see, I don't see any scare actors here. I just see a big old wave of people. This might be a good time uh, to do the sky ride. If the line isn't crazy, we'll walk all the way over to the Frontier Adventure area and then come back over to this end. But yeah, I haven't seen one single clown. I literally just saw them. I see one up the head too. So I guess they're all here. <laughs> you can barely tell because they're just in the mix. Jeez. It's just so crowded. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Welcome. What's my favorite coaster here? El Toro. I'll do you one better. I can do a top three is El Toro, Nitro, Jersey Devil Coaster, then King Daka. Huh. Well, Blood Drums is going. Let's take a peek at that. If I remember their program right, they're doing the uh, the stuff with the um, circular saw. It's a strong top four in my opinion, rivaling most parks. Oh, I can see it. I can see the sparks from here. walkway is completely full <laughs> yeah one thing I, I've been meaning to do is get some photos of them with the circular saw is this a path that I can go through nice there's nobody here oh now there is yeah I've been on uh, the dark night many times I like it a lot of people rag on it I like it it's like Bizarro's cousin. I've been on all the coasters there actually, even Goliath, which has been closed for quite some time now. Man, it's just a mess of people here today. Like, 
I hear a shovel. I do not see other scare actors though. Yeah, it's the smiley shovel guy. Do you like venom goats? I feel like that one requires too many things to go well in order for it to be a good scare zone. I just happened to catch it for my stroll video on a good day. There were They had moved around, shuffled around a bunch of scare actors, and there was enough people actually going through the scare zone to make it exciting. Holy smokes. They should really move that line instead of just going straight across the walkway there. So here's life around the center of the park by the entrance. My goodness. It was just people and more people everywhere. Slowly making my way over the Demon District, but I just kind of want to turn around real quick while I found some space. It's just a mass of people. All right, I think it's time now. Head on through Demon District. I have not seen too many scare actors. I did not even know that Sidewinder was closed, but I heard about that at like five minutes ago. And yeah, I have no idea. Found one scare after. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what might have happened to it. Where are the scare actors at? There's like no scare actors. Can't be break time, can it? No, because they only came out around six. I see one other scare actor. Definitely not much left here. <laughs> that guy's makeup look really cool. Kraken at SeaWorld is being repainted? That's exciting. Glad it's getting some love. What's in your opinion, all of you guys, a roller coaster that could use some love, whether it's a retrack, just a refresh, repaint, some repair on the train, something like that. Looks like the frames are holding up okay. Good. Yeah, I could see a nitro repaint. They did give some maintenance and a refresh to the A train, and that is like night and day, though. If you haven't had a chance, highly recommend going on the A train of nitro. 
It was running super smooth. It was, it really caught me off guard. I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, they took down the Lady of the Lake Cemetery sign. It's like, just sitting over here. What the heck? I did hear about Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt's not just being repainted, it's like a brand new color, isn't it? Like they're not just freshening up what it is, it's changing. We went live for 45 minutes. Yeah, it was funny. I wonder if something happened and they pulled the scare actors. I only hear one or two. There go one. There go two. That's what I've heard. So they're changing the color scheme. But yeah, a lot less scare actors tonight. <laughs> it is gross for a Sunday. I did not expect this at all. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. The line. The line for this big top terror maze. Oh my gosh. They're using the entire queue. Oh my gosh. And then it's spilling out. So even if you bought Express, you're still waiting a good like 20 minutes to a half hour. That is ridiculous. Because then the line still continues with all those switchbacks out there and back here. Good grief, y'all. That is insane. I can't believe that. Like, how can you, like, you're literally, those people are not getting out of line until, like, it's a, the park is about to close. That cannot be fun. Oh, and I just, I look back and I just noticed, I don't know if y'all can see, but along the fence going this way, that's the express. And if you've been here, you know that the express basically will go in and then back up right in. So like it's not even if you bought Express today, oh man, what a ripoff that would be. You're still waiting a half hour at least because they're not the quickest at pulsing groups here. It's just wow. It just doesn't feel worth it. I don't know in what case coming here today feels worth it if you're a typical guest. Me, because I'm I'm here live streaming and sharing the spectacle of all these people here. But man, if I didn't have any plans to do any content or anything, 
I would not be here. Paper towel, whatever. Yeah, typically the scare zones and all of that, like Fright Fest itself, quote unquote, doesn't start until after the awakening. After they do their parade, the arrival, and then the awakening show, and then they all get released. I mean, I haven't had a bad Friday, but I have no idea if this is setting the tempo for the rest of the event. Because the close, generally, the closer you get to Halloween, the busier it gets. But like, the earlier the better is always like the the best plan, especially like Saturday, maybe during the day. Generally, Sundays were okay, but now that's proven not to be the case. As well as um, Fridays. Like the uh, Big Top Terror that we just walked by. And any of the other indoor mazes, those generally open around like 5, I think. If not earlier, maybe 4 o'clock. I have not heard anything about El Toro, sadly. I bet you... Uh, I smell somebody somebody just crop dusted me. I smell a hot fart right now. I feel like I walked right into it. That is disgusting, people. Well here we are in Venom Gulch. I don't see anybody. Hey, I found a scare actor. <laughs> the indoor mazes you can do pretty quickly when it's early and they're well staffed and they're not on break. They have the worst time where they go on break around like eight to nine. They're staggered, but still it affects how many scare actors are in the mazes and they're already not that many <laughs> to my knowledge no the scare actors do not go on the rides i know some parks do that though where you can like do uh i've seen is it at bush gardens tampa where <laughs> They'll go on the bumper cars with, or like, there's some other park I'm not remembering that where a zombie will go on a roller coaster with you. Let's see how long the line is to get on the sky ride. I'm assuming from this end, it's probably not as bad as going the other way. Looks like a little bit of a line. It's nothing too crazy. Oh wait, what? It's a little line. Oh, my favorite at Dorney Park, maybe Talon. But they also have a lot of those old school flat rides that are a lot of fun. <clears throat> While we wait in line, I'm just going to flip this around. Whew. Yeah, Dorney Park is has like the whip and a couple of other decent flat rides that I don't see at many other parks. So I usually, I'll go on like the, the big three. So like Steel Force, Hydra, and Talon, and then circle back. 
Where are you guys going? Thought you were uh, going to the other side of the park. Believe it or not, I have no not been to Busch Gardens, Tampa. It's like, it's so empty now. Are we all going in the same? Are you all in like the same group? Yeah. You guys can go ahead. Yeah. Us three, us three, yeah. Yeah, no problem. It's all right. Mr. El Toro Landon, how you doing? I hope you're all enjoying this amazing view of my mask while we wait to get on the sky ride. But yeah, sad to say, um, I focused on going on all the other roller coasters that are in like the northeast so this summer season into the fall now i focused on going to every park that was in a six hour driving radius of me and i just did it i just finished that by going to dutch wonderland riding the three coasters there so i think that leaves only one amusement center that's in new york state and then maybe circling back to seaside heights and then whenever Clementon Park reopens their coasters, then going down there. I'm wearing masks right now because it's very crowded. It's not just because of like COVID, it's, you know, everything, <laughs> like colds and stuff. I probably won't be going live on a Saturday or Friday. Not for a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Probably not. I probably won't be back on a, a live on a Friday or Saturday until maybe November when Holiday in the Park starts up. And it's for the same reason as before where all the parks have limited hours and I'm still trying to do um, vlogging photos and then a live stream and so it's really, really tough. No, the mask works. That fart was just really foul. It could have been worse. I probably could have been passed out midstream. Yes! I mean, it still lets in air, you know? I have been to Ocean City and Wildwood. I have videos up if you search for them. I have one where I did all the stuff that was at Wildwood, as well as one where I went to the two spots that are in Ocean City. No, that was a that was a nasty, nasty part. I don't mention stuff like that usually. That one was just you know, top 10 parts that I've experienced in a park. Yes, I really enjoyed the, the Muppets Haunted Match and I actually bought some merchandise of it not too long ago. I'm waiting for it to arrive from Chop Disney. There's probably going to be a lot of wind noise, but the visuals should at least make up for that. Oh, there's a... <laughs> got blasted with Corona farts. Oh no! <laughs> Can't see much from there. Man, this thing... I'm not that heavy that it's swaying to one side. Yes, it was 
top worst farts of my life right there. I'm glad I could share that moment with all of you. And yeah, if we haven't gotten to stream to 20 likes, let's go for it. Please throw a thumbs up so other people can be confused as to why the Six Flags stream has a Spaceship Earth thumbnail. I really need to change that. Oh, we can get a bird's eye view of the queue right there for Big Top Terror. Holy smokes. What a mess. Oh, I didn't even think to look at the Wicked Woods one. But right now, we're going to go over the Lady of the Lake Cemetery. Thank you for subscribing. We are well on our way to the next 100 now. I think my personal goal is to try to get to 2,500 before the end of this year. Let's see, what are we passing? What are we passing? I mean, look at that. There's the line. Nasty stuff. I think we should see a decent amount of fog now. We're passing the carousel and then We'll be going over like the fountain area and demon district and all that. I heard Sesame Place getting a big new ride. Very exciting. I wonder when they're gonna get a raptor. I see so many people exiting the park. Wow. Like, tons. They're all sandwiched in there trying to get out. Holy smokes. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of center frame, but there's just a lot of people all trying to get out. Wow. That is nuts. And thank you for subscribing. Ooh, I can see the queue. It's probably hard to see because it is dark. The queue to the mirror maze, uh, Reflections of the Dead. I want to go see that real quick. I want to go see that. Oh, you want to know what would have been fun to fly over is the Blood Drum Show. I believe they've already performed their last performance, but that would have been cool. Yeah, because their stage is literally right there. I thought it was going to be a little more chaotic with the fog and stuff, but I think uh, Holiday in the Park, doing this flight during Holiday in the Park is a lot prettier and a lot cooler looking. With Holiday in the Park, they have like a Santa's Workshop set in there and some music and lights. That's really it. Ooh. All right, we're free, we're free. Does anybody check the wait times? I haven't checked yet since I've been on my phone for the last hour. I wonder if there was like a big drop in the amount of uh, rides that are over 80 minutes. But yeah, let's go check out the Mirror Maze queue. That should be insane. And then after that, maybe let's go visit uh, the Jersey Double Coaster. You know, I'm surprised this park doesn't have a train. One thing that was pretty cool that Six Flags America did with their train is they turned it into a haunt, like a trail. And so as you're going around, there's scare actors positioned. Oh, looks like the likes are helping. We got a couple more people here in the stream. Welcome to all of you who 
don't feel like chatting, but just feel like listening. All right, we're coming up here on the uh, the queue. Wow. I believe the queue ends like right there. Am I moving to Florida? Not yet. Someday though. Someday. I'll probably do like a, a little video announcement of that since that'll impact how often I go to Great Adventure. Although I always figured that if I was to move to Florida, I would still probably come back for a weekend or two to Great Adventure. Yeah, did you just do the maze? Yeah. How long did you wait? We did the express, it was like that, but like not worth it. <laughs> no, that was the shortest thing. <laughs> well, you heard it from people who had the express, not worth it. They should put anything where Green Lantern is and it would be an improvement. So yeah, here's the line, spilling out of the queue. That is the express line, wow. That line that I was showing off right there was the express line. This here is the regular queue. Gosh. This is some insanity. All right, well, that looks like a very, very, very long wait. So how about we head on over to Jersey Devil Coaster, see how they're doing. I actually haven't seen that queue very full before. Normally, well, I, I went during power hours and did it a bunch. And that, they were just, they were cooking, they were flying there. Off were doing a killer job. So the times really haven't dropped off yet, huh? Oh, that's, this is ridiculous. For a Sunday night, they close in like an hour. That means, I wonder if they'll um, like cap the queues at all or anything. Or are they gonna run those for another hour and a half after they close? That would be insane. Have I been to Cedar Point? Yes. Yes, I have. My favorite coaster there? Oh, that's tough. I really enjoyed Steel Vengeance. I really enjoyed uh, Millennium Force, Gatekeeper. I really like Val Raven, their dive coaster there. There was a lot, and oh, of course, Maverick. How could I forget Maverick? That coaster was amazing. Yeah, they have, they're just stacked over there. It's ridiculous. Cedar Point is stacked. I would like to go back. There are a couple coasters that I didn't go on, like Iron Dragon and uh, Music Corkscrew. Whatever their arrow coaster over there was called. I didn't go on those because they had very long waits, like two hour waits for no good reason. Gatekeeper is amazing. I'm glad it didn't go down for as long as it was supposed to earlier this summer when the, I think it was like the chain snap, snapped or, or something like that. It was crazy though, the videos that I saw of it. Almost at 20 likes. Awesome. If anybody wants to be lucky number 20, I would appreciate it. Here goes Nitro. Oh man. 
Oh man. I'm gonna go in a little. Wow. Oh my gosh. How long do you think? An hour, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Sorry, could you say that again? An hour, 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Would you wait that long? Would you wait that long? Saying it's an hour, 10 minutes right now. Holy smokes. The line starts right there. I haven't seen this queue this long in forever. If you mean for the Holiday in the Park event, yes, I would definitely recommend it. I had a lot of fun with it and this year there should be shows back. So where they're currently doing Unleashed in that indoor theater, they'll probably do another show. And typically that's really good. Hot chocolate's good, specialty food is good, and the lights, the lights are pretty great. They do close down like half the park though so not all the roller coasters will be open i don't even think king of cock could run in the cold if it wanted to however they have confirmed that jersey devil coaster will be operating all right guys welcome to the pine barrens normally there's people all over this sign oh dang there's a big old line right now for the Jersey Devil Barbecue, which is, it's a very solid place, let me tell you. It is, it has some solid options. Oh, I just heard an announcement that Nitro is experiencing temporary delays. Oh no. Excuse me. A Let's Go Brandon chant? What? <laughs> Let's see. They're not using the first Q house. What are they doing then? This is bizarre. Looks like they're utilizing all four. Yes. All four trains are currently in use. So there's currently two on the moving station. So one, wow, there's a lot of empty seats. What the heck? I don't think you guys can see them coming around the turnaround right now, can you? A little too dark for that. Night rides on this are actually kind of fun. There's a couple of hills that you don't really you can't see well, so you can't anticipate them. That was actually a lot of fun when I did that uh, during power hours. Bizarro should be open during Christmas? I don't know. I don't think they have a good reason to. Just because the rest of that side of the park is closed. So I don't know if it would get enough foot traffic to make it worthwhile. So it looks like they always have one going kind of up here, getting ready to go on the lift, one on the track, another one that's unloading, and then one that's on the brake run on the opposite side there, because that's gonna, about to come around. So they're plugging away, but this is still like a 70 minute wait. That's wild.
holiday in the park power hours? I mean, I didn't know. I kind of hope they do. That would be amazing, but I don't know. I think the Pride Press power hours are crazy. I don't understand how they're making any money on it. Like, I showed up, did all the mazes, rode all, the, like, majority of the roller coasters. I didn't pay for anything. I don't know how they're making money. Like, surely I've, I've made back. Please do not touch their strength. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many times they have to say that in a shift. Don't pull down on the restraint. They really just need a sticker on like the seat in front of you to telling you not to pull down on the restraints. That would take care of like 90% of it. It's so bad. Everybody instinctively wants to pull down on the restraint. Yeah, I've always wondered that. How are they making money on the Fright Fest Power Hours? I pay like, what, 20 bucks a month? If you add up having Diamond membership plus the uh, dining plan? And I'm not even one of the worst offenders. I see people show up here, get food, and then leave because they live so close by. Well, they changed the wheel assemblies last I heard, so it's a good time to get on it. Try out these new wheels. It's way smoother than before. I did it uh, about five times last Wednesday, and it was just night and day from when I rode it in June. Big improvement. That being said, I have not been on the first gen Raptors like uh, Wonder Woman or Railblazer, so I'm curious to get on those so I can compare. So yeah, they've got a rhythm here. As long as people aren't pulling down the restraints, they can kind of just fly. A couple modifications I noticed. Oh, speaking of it. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> um, they have a thing for water bottles or the member bottles, whatever they're called, the refillable stuff. They have a spot for that. The people pulling down the restraints they have like a little cubby thing that they'll bring around if you have a hat or forgot to take off your glasses or whatever so i have stuff like that at least to quickly take care of it so the ride can keep moving 22 likes oh my goodness we're climbing the mountain little by little i wonder if we can get to 25 likes that would be insane And thanks for the updates, because I don't think I have a way of looking at that when I'm using Streamlabs. Wow, there's so many people just kind of waiting here. There's a, whoever is guarding the entrance, they have to ask people and double check if they have anything in their pockets. So that certainly slows down just this part getting in, as you can see. And then, I want to see what the queue is. I still need a photo with this test seat, by the way. Still need to do that. I want to see if I can see the rest of the queue from here. I wonder why they, they do just straight back instead of using this whole queue house here. But instead, it's just going all the way down.
I mean, I would love to get to 30 likes, but for now, I'm, I'd be happy with 25. I, I'm happy with 22, to be honest. I've never seen the queue this that far back. And even still, that's probably not that long of a wait. I imagine now that it's nine o'clock, a lot of people must be leaving. There was already a tremendous tidal wave of people making their way out. That's why I think it's so silly that so many people were trying to get here when the park at around like 6 or 7. When the park closes at 10. Like what are you planning on accomplishing today? That I'm way too underrated. Thank you. I think that's, that's a compliment. Yeah, I'm going to take it as a compliment. Had Insider posted a picture in this spot a bit before the awakening and it was similar. Oh, so it's been this way all day? Wow. Yeah, that's who I figured you meant. He does good work here. His uh, Instagram story game is unmatched in my opinion. He puts a lot of work into that. I wonder if Nitro ever started running again. Currently, the station has one train in it, and it's empty. I don't know. The... What? Could you give us an idea of how to prep for a day at the park in December? Uh, wear lots of layers? I invested in some Under Armour to as like my first layer and then a t-shirt and then a long sleeve shirt and then a sweater and then my jacket oh looks like it just opened they gotta cycle them all so yeah so that's what one two three four and then the jacket, five layers. So Under Armour t-shirt, long sleeve shirt, uh, sweatshirt, jacket. Now oh, they're letting everybody on now. Um, and then a scarf, gloves, and hat. And then thick socks, like, like those uh, woolen socks or whatever. Thick socks, boots or something, you know, Shoes that are well insulated because you're going to be on the concrete paths that are really cold at night. And with all that, you should be pretty good. Well, yeah, I assume you should also, you'll be wearing pants. I do not recommend shorts. Um, or thermals. Hey, if, if you can find a fleece condom in your size, then by all means. Will they put the old kids' rides back in the park? Oh my goodness, they're yelling. I'm like fairly certain next year, even though they haven't announced it, next year is going to be the year where they kind of address 
the the kids rides and all that stuff and kind of put them wherever they they're planning on putting them but yeah i would think that next year is the year for that since we just got this big coaster that they would kind of have to address it but that's just me using logic and six flags doesn't always use that so we will see what happens because if i remember right you can just like with uh the little devil coaster you can see those rides backstage from the nitro lift hill if you look around Have you seen the home goods shopping cart in the spot for the non? No, I haven't seen that. There's a home goods shopping cart there? <laughs> uh, yeah, Little Devil's running. Little Devil is indeed running. You can see people exiting it right now, straight ahead. But yeah, I typically wear like six, seven layers whenever I come here during the winter. And it works. Wear some layers, drink some hot chocolate, and you'll be set. And one nice thing, uh, like last year, was wearing the mask kind of kept my face warm. They're getting their little devil night ride. Does anybody remember what this was called before it was removed? I've seen too many of this style of coaster and now I've forgotten. I don't think it was Roadrunner Railways or whatever, something like that. And it was definitely not the Great Chase. That's what I've seen it called at Six Flags America, I think. Oh, no, no, Six Flags New England. Grow a beard. Roadrunner Express, that, that, that must have been it. Grow a beard. And he said it twice. He, I think he wants us all to grow two beards. I will work on that just for you. I'll try to grow two beards. this well I was hoping to see this go but what the hey it's not going it takes that long to verify yes I'll grow two beards to stay warm I hear you I mean, honestly, we should all grow two beards while we're at it. Um, I see them on the train. Let's go. How far do I live from Great Adventure? About an hour. It's about an hour south of me. I live equidistant, the same distance from New York and Philadelphia.
that's it. Just two times around. Yeah, I happen to live about an hour from Dorney Park and an hour from Great Adventure. Give or take a few minutes. And your other beard keeps your fleece condom warm. That is very smart. You're a pioneer. That coaster was the Lil Devil. It's the kitty coaster they have here at Great Adventure. <laughs> Two likes away from 25. Oh my gosh, you guys. Er, my gosh. Have I been on the Joker? Yes. Yes, I have been. There's definitely a little less people here. Before it was like being at a packed club, it was ridiculous. Oh, and there's two stilt walkers here today, eh? Well, that's exciting. Last time you were on Joker, you got a four strong rotations. Oh, that's awesome been a while since I had a good ride on the Joker. I just generally don't go on it because it's not worth the wait, in my opinion. <laughs> That's definitely a new clown. I think at this point I've acclimated all the clowns to just kind of expect my existence. Um, do I get headaches on Joker? No. I have not gotten headaches. I have not done that bus ticket thing with the combo before. I've heard it's just, it's a really long day for you if you do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're shooting fish in a barrel there. Oh, you take Dramamine, I gotcha. No, I, I, I don't take anything. Or get dizzy or headaches or anything like that, thankfully. Very lucky. Oh, she's going, she's going. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, just catching up on chat. I should work at Six Flags. No, only if I actually own the park and can make the changes I want to make. That's it. 
Otherwise, there's nothing here that would pay me enough. Hey, Ben Riv, welcome. If you have a second, throw the chat a like and you can be lucky number 25, I think. I think there was more happening up at the uh, entrance here. I did see on one of the signs here, they're paying the scare actors now $17.50. So that's a big upgrade. That's good to see. But if I remember right, most of the scare actors, they're like teenagers, no? Except for the one scare actor here, the, the, the scary uh, clown chick. She is actually the head makeup artist. <laughs> is there a clown with a rubber chicken this season? If so, I have missed them. One away from 25 likes. Aw, oh, man. Thank you, Ben Riv. Plus the bonuses that they pay over the course of a while. Then Verbolton can make you dizzy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could see how. Yeah, for sure. I guess the still walkers and makeup artist lady have left. There's bonuses. What kind of bonuses? Do you know anything about that? I've heard that there's sign on bonuses that you get, but they're paid out maybe gradually over the course of like a month or two. But I have no idea. We saw her by the inflatable clown. I must have missed her. Oh, at your previous visit. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then we'll achieve victory. I don't know. I'll go get a snack. I have no idea how to celebrate. Is there a show about to start? I'm gonna just double check here real quick. Um, oh yeah, wow, they do a 9.30 show now. I think that's new. Fright Fest is insane. It's just like, the mazes i love i love supporting you know great adventure and six flags in general because i want to see them do better but then they don't <laughs> the mazes are such an inconsistent experience i love the roller coasters here those are great um the scare actors there's just not enough of them they haven't hired enough and now it's kind of too late to really do anything about that and they stopped doing that like crazy hour at the end where all of the uh scare actors would pop up at the end of the night and hang out by the fountain that used to be fun 26 likes oh snap how do we celebrate you guys how on earth do we celebrate i'm open to suggestions <laughs> There's three scare actors now. Let's see what they do. I'm gonna go into documentary mode here. We're gonna go off to the side. <laughs> They're all taking a photo instead. That is so sad. Why aren't they getting scared?
Could we get it to 30 likes? I don't know. I do not know. That sound? <laughs> that was pretty good. But no, that sounds like crazy talk. 30 likes? Inconceivable. There's just no way. Just no way. We can't do it. Alright, these characters are really just hanging out. What a bummer. And they're a little plump. Like a bunch of mean girls. Okay then. That that's a look. I wonder if we would have gotten a 30 likes if I remembered to change the thumbnail so it wasn't Epcot. That is a rookie mistake, you guys. Don't be like me. Remember to change your thumbnails to represent where you're actually going to be. Scream back at them. That just sounds mean. Yeah, there is lots of people leaving, huh? I'm trying to think if we should go get like a funnel cake or something and just kind of chill out while everybody leaves the park. But maybe I'll do that closer to closing and we'll like continue the stream a little longer than usual because you gotta figure that the parking lot is gonna be a mess. Where are you going out the park or when? I'm gonna stay till closing. I'm gonna stay till 10. We're streaming till 10 at least. And if I get a, a uh, funnel cake, then maybe till later. I, w I do wanna investigate the funnel cake line. And then while we're there, I'm also thinking maybe we could go on the merry-go-round right quick. Hang out with a chicken. This is only one of two carousels I've been on that have chicken on them. 30 likes, no way. Amazing stuff. Okay, I would love to get a funnel cake right now, but I'm gonna wait like 15 minutes, I think, because this is currently the line. If I show up like a scare actor, they won't let me leave. They're just gonna keep me here forever. So we'll trap my soul here and I will be stuck inside a maze for all eternity. This line looks insane. Do you, see, do you guys see this? Actually, I just thought of an idea. There's a second location for the funnel cakes. It's not just this one. Oh man, I was hoping we could get some uh, some more fog here, but the wind isn't being cooperative. Oh, here we go. Enjoy, everybody. Breathe in deep.
Oh, you stupid wind. The wind took it all that way. The worst coaster to ride in the winter time? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I'm so picky about that. So yeah, there should be another location that does funnel cakes back here in the boardwalk. It definitely feels like it was scarier. I don't know. For me, it's just fun at this point. It had a good vibe to it. Here, the vibe is kind of like missing in this whole section since it's not the clown area anymore. And there's just way too many people to make it a scare zone. <laughs> Uh-oh. How long do you think this guy will last? El Toro gets so slow it can't complete its circuit, so it wouldn't be operating during the winter. I didn't find out why Superman was closed. If any of you guys know, let me know. Eighty seconds. Seventy seconds to go. someone who actually does it I've seen people drop at like 15 seconds and it's the saddest thing Wildcat is open during the winter at Hershey so why can't El Toro be open because it doesn't get enough speed to finish its run Wildcat doesn't require that much speed to complete the circuit All right, let's see how bad the funnel cake line is. Okay. Save your feedback, Tom. Okay, no, no, no. It's it's decent still. <laughs> I don't get the fascination with the funnel cake though. But yeah, there's a decent little line here. It's not nearly as bad as the one up front. Oh, true. I should have waited and stuck around to see what he picked as his prize. My bad, guys. Something to keep in mind for next time. You know, improvements to the stream can be made. 
I just was hoping that this line would be a little smaller. I'm going to give it like 10 more minutes. So since that's the case, let's go see how the line to Big Top Terror has kind of changed up as time has gone by. I already don't see the express line sticking out. Nah, Doc Swan, um, he like goes around to, to YouTubers and tells them to take down like because his performance is quote unquote copyrighted. He like asked me to take down the video and the live stream that I had him in. So no Doc Swan. I do love Dippin' Dots, but those are cold and it is getting cold. Great Adventure Guide said what in a video about Doc Swan? Yeah, he emailed me when I, um, back when I was uploading all the shows, I, I just put them all up one after the other, the, uh, what's it called? The, like, Blood Drums and Dead Man's Party and Unleashed. I had also posted, um, Doc Swan's Magic Show, and you've seen footage on his stuff before, so fail fish, <laughs> fail fish. <laughs> yeah, he sent me a message, asked me to take it down, and then found that I had live streamed part of his show, uh, and then he asked me to take that down, so, yep, there's no Ducks one. He just wants people to see it the old-fashioned way. by nitro has the had the funnel cakes versus the funnel yeah that line was i don't know if you remember when i was walking by there earlier um right after nitro reopened yeah that line was pretty it was just as long as the one that's over here yeah that would have been a silly thing to get struck for but he doesn't have any content id match for it so i don't know how he would have gone about uh striking me for it but either way it's that would have been a silly thing i just took it down like pfft, no big deal what park do you want to get to like what's next on my list um i hear fiesta texas is awesome and so is san diego uh not san diego uh the sea world at san antonio so i got a trip planned for that and there's a couple parks, like the SoCal parks that I have not visited, like Universal Hollywood, uh, Knott's Berry Farm, and Six Flags Magic Mountain that I really want to get to. That's the line to Big Top Terror. And honestly, it's not that much improved since before. Let's do a, a lap in Lady of the Lake real quick. And then we'll go see how the truer line is. Or not truer, funnel okay. cake. Bleh. My brain's starting to go now. It's been a long stream. Oh, the UK, there's the, the big parks that I want to go to. Alton Towers. Uh, now I'm going to forget their names, of course. Is it Thorpe Park? And then Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, the haunted houses are better at Dorney, for sure. Um, the major thing is that they are fully staffed. Uh, but I always have to add that the downside is they're only open for four hours. Maybe less when it comes to the outdoor mazes. So your experience is not going to involve typically multiple mazes because their lines are like 45 minutes to an hour so there's not really too much you can do so yes they have good mazes but they don't give you enough time to experience them all she was not liking that I mean, if they shake their can three times at you, like, you're basically dating at that point. So 
Hey, they got fog here. Hold your breath or breathe it in. Woo. That was a good one. The rule of three, yes. That's what we can call it. That is one bonus about being able to go to Dorney Park, is that Possessed is still operating, thankfully. Zombie girl dating handsome boy. <laughs> Oh, this looks awesome. I have not heard any updates on El Toro. Sadly, no news. Oh man, look at all the fog that's going the, over to the lake. That lake must look so creepy. Look at all that fog. It's, El Toro, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a good while. If I remember right, there's a scare actor hiding here. Uh, I just waved at her. She gave me a stinky eye. Did not shake those beans at me. They won't RMC El Toro. They definitely won't. The, at best, they will replace the track that's been damaged. And that'll be it. And then it'll be happy days. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Basketball! She just, she has a tiny toy basketball. <laughs> She's just yelling basketball at people. <laughs> it's not really a wooden coaster, it's more of a hybrid. Neither of you like Fright Fest things, all. Oh, that is so sad. I mean, you can avoid the spookiness for the most part, or they sell those Nobu necklace necklaces. The scare actor had like a tiny little toy basketball and she was just pointing it at people and yelling basketball at them. 33 likes, no way. Wow, the line, believe it or not, has gotten worse. It's gotten worse. I think I'm gonna have to suck it up and just get in line. Why are people like this? Go home. You don't all need funnel cake, do you? Dang. Now it's starting to make me wonder how, how badly do I need funnel cake. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, uh, they don't have the... Do they have the specialty one? Like the Fright Fest one? Yeah. Oh, I 
You like to cry? The Nobu necklaces only sort of work? Well, dang. I wish that, that would have been awesome if they had El Toro and then kept Rolling Thunder and then did something with it. That would have been amazing. What? That would have been awesome. All right. I'm assuming I have to gotta get in line somewhere around here. Excuse me. That's right, I want the funnel cake cream. Any of y'all in line? You're not in line, are you? All right. What's that? No, 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 in the line for this thing. Yeah, the funnel screen cake with the Snickers, that is the good stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Caramel salted pretzel ice cream in that store near the lat. Yes. That thing is delicious. Rolling Thunder, I just remember just. It had a really rough time towards the end. It was painful. Okay, you look at anything beside the kangaroo or the frog. I got everything else besides the kangaroo. Lacrimology. I'm assuming that has something to do with crying. Why is Spotify still running in the background? That's the weirdest thing. <sighs> Line ain't moving. Oh, oh, I see one happy customer. That must be nice. Apparently, at the end of the night, every location has to have funnel cakes because people want them. Were they doing RMC stuff when Rolling Thunder closed? Like, was that even an option? I don't know about that. And if anybody hasn't thrown the stream a like, please, please do. I'm shocked, honestly, that we got over 30. <laughs> oh, thank you. Actually, one of my mods made this. She has an Etsy shop. If you look up uh, Soaring Over the Magic on Etsy, you'll find all of her masks. I actually bought this fabric for her so that I could get a Looney Tunes mask. Because there's not a Looney Tunes mask that I could find with a good nose wire for my glasses. They do. I really think that they could use another wooden coaster. You know what would be cool is if they had a gravity group coaster like, um, what's it called? Oscar's Wacky Taxi. If they had something like that or Wooden Warrior, that would be amazing. But then I don't know if enthusiasts would be going to uh, Sesame Place like I did before coming here. <laughs> People love that coaster. That coaster is amazing. Oh, did you guys see the thing going? That's amazing. That is some nice accidental framing. All right, have a good night, Landon. You saw me last time. I've been seen. Oh, no. Good night. Are they just dangling there? Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, maybe you'll catch me uh, during Holiday in the Park. I'll definitely be around for that. All right. Oh, they ordered two. That's why that one took one. You saw somebody get stuck and they had to get down? Oh, man. That's terrible. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Get ready! She missed it. She said, uh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I know, I understand you said it. You said it in the video there. Okay. Am I? Oh, I thought yes, I could sir. see the contest there. No. It don't look like it, though. 
Totally blocked. I've only done it like once or twice. It's okay. It's just a big, big up, big down, and then that's it. Oh no, copyright is double chocolate chuck. And then the next one is white macadamia. And then after that, it's probably a tie between pecan with chocolate or fudge brownie. And I guess my least favorite is oatmeal raisin because raisins to me don't belong in cookies. You want to get on Haunted Mansion Holiday? Me too. I went on it once like two years ago and because of COVID and all of that I never got to go back out to uh, ride it again. But man, between that and uh, Monsters After Dark, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, oh more copyright music. I'll tell you more about my favorite rides at Disneyland then. So Monsters After Dark, the Guardians of the Galaxy Halloween makeover is so good. It is so good. And then obviously Haunted Mansion Holiday is really good. It would be amazing if they did one for Small World, like an overlay. Uh, Ghost Galaxy, the one that they do at Space Mountain, is really cool. But unfortunately, they weren't doing that the time that I visited. I don't know if it was because of Galaxy's Edge having just opened, but that might be because of it. You made some really good chocolate chip cookies on Friday. Okay. Lucky. Lucky. I need to bake pretty soon, I think. Oh, I'm not going to get the Fanta Fizz. I'm going to get the um, the funnel cake with the Snickers on it and all that. That's what we're going for. Is this copyright? I don't know. But I'll keep telling you about my favorite rides at Disneyland. Uh, Radiator Springs Racers. Amazing ride. I only got to do that one once as well. I feel like I just need... I, I am just convincing myself that I need to go back to Disneyland like as soon as possible, basically. And... Uh, and DCA, I haven't fully explored either. I did a lot of drinking there, unfortunately, which led to not accomplishing much else. Like, I haven't even seen World of Color. Yes, the funnel screen cake. That is what I'm going for right now. That is why you're staring at my face, because we're stuck in line. You bake with your grandma. Nice. I don't have a grandma. That is from Animal by Martin Garrick. So it is copyrighted. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's why I'm just going to keep talking about random subjects that pop into my head so we don't get that copyright strike. And you learn it? Oh, wow, what a flex. Yeah, we can get some claps in the chat for Madeline and her stand mixer. That is awesome. I do not own any sort of that. I have a little hand mixer, like the little one where you just press the button and it goes doo -doo, and that is it. That is pretty awesome. Pink Daisies 94, that is a name. They do close in 10 minutes. I don't think I'm getting my funnel cake in 10 minutes, but like I was telling you guys before, I am gonna just sit here and eat it. What are they gonna do, kick me out while I'm eating a funnel cake? Because I know that the parking lot is gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the worst spot. I know, I know. That's why we're gonna keep talking over this so my live stream doesn't get taken down because there's so much copyrighted music being played. They're gonna think that I'm just playing copywritten music for my stream or something. <laughs> All right, taking a break until we hear music again. I have to come up with something else to talk about. They also play it so loudly, it's unfair. Because then I have, feel like I have to talk loudly. And then people around me are giving me funny looks. Did we get any more likes on the stream, by the way? I feel like the stream already peaked because we're at 19 now. <laughs> My favorite ice creams? Um, anything that's that starts with Death by Chocolate is automatically my favorite. Um, anything like Moose Tracks I go for. Uh, and anything Double Chocolate fudge brownie uh, I think you're sensing the theme here and anything with chocolate is just the clear winner for me what time does Fright Fest start it normally starts at like 6 6 15 or something like that that's when all hell breaks loose and they have the ghoul parade the arrival and then the awakening which is over in the 
DMP arena. Fish food is amazing, so is half-baked. If we're getting into the Ben and Jerry's stuff. Sometimes you go to Holiday Park on your birthday, because you can't go to six Oh, your birthday's in January, I gotcha. But still, that's awesome. Um, one thing you could always do, like down the line, maybe plan a trip to one of the parks that's open like all throughout the year, and you could do that. Maybe where it's warmer somewhere. Let's see, mint chocolate chip is also really good. Party cake, that's kind of just vanilla with confetti, right? You taught yourself to bake during the lockdown and you mostly make muffins. What kind of muffins do you make? I like all kinds of muffins, but my most favorite muffin is just a typical cornbread muffin. 40 likes. How on earth did the stream get to 40 likes? I feel like I've been barely doing anything here to warrant that, to deserve it, you know? You're doing half-baked sometime soon? Nice. Oh, thank you. Yes. This time last year, I think I was doing my first Hallowfest stream since coming back from surgery. It was kind of crazy. Um, my opinion on Fun Spot getting a fully built RMC? I mean, hey, more RMC. The more RMCs in the world, the better, right? There's no nothing wrong with that. I'm surprised that Fun Spot is getting one of all places, but I can't be mad at that. It's gonna be a mess trying to clean up this stream so it can actually be rebroadcasted. Oh, here it comes again. But yeah, it's the fun spot in Atlanta, right? That's getting the built RMC. That kind of surprised me. I thought it for sure, if there was gonna be like a legit coaster popping up at any of the fun spots, it was gonna be at one in Florida. But Atlanta instead, who, who figured? So I guess at some point I'm gonna have to go to the fun spot in Atlanta as well as maybe Six Flags Over Georgia. And then we'll do that, that whole biz. Oh, and there's also like a puppet um, museum that I really wanna check out. This thing just decides what to put in focus. So strange. Right. I had mentioned that before about the uh, about the houses that Dorney Park has. They are a lot more fun, but if you only have four hours and the lines are like an hour each, you don't get to do that much. Because they also have like a bunch of shows and stuff to check out. I, in order to experience everything that they have, I ended up buying the Express Pass instead. Banana with blueberries, apple and pumpkin, mostly banana, and you love half-baked, and tonight dough, yes. Those are all amazing answers. I 100% agree. You should go to Dorney Park. You should go to the Dorney Park again, and again, and again. And maybe one day, because you've gone enough, they will get a new coaster, because they so desperately deserve one. Especially right where, um, was it Stinger, their old Vacoma boomerang? In that area, they have the space for something, but I don't know. I don't know what's taking them so long to get some love from Cedar Fair. Uh, Harley Quinn Crazy Train's old name? Oh, I don't remember, man. I do not remember. Uh. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. There is one, two, three, four, six six groups ahead of me and the park is about to close in two minutes blackbeard's treasure train did you look that up did you google it if you by the way this is just a general tip if anybody is curious about like old school great adventure stuff you can go to great adventure history and they have a website all about that stuff it goes year by year the really cool thing and i want to kind of make a video about this is what great adventure was intended to be like way in the beginning like they were going to try to basically emulate what walt disney world was with the whole resort with a monorail with oh i'm getting sick of this song oh my gosh you went to college near dorney that's amazing you think your mom knows but um yeah way back they were going to do like a full on resort campground hotels they were going to have a monorail they and they only ended up opening the amusement park and the safari and they were planning on opening like four or five other areas to the whole property so instead i think they've been using it as like we can we build this coaster state of new jersey yes but only if you set aside x amount of your land for um for like conservation and stuff i wonder if i'd get copyright pings for the jeopardy music i don't know 
You live five minutes away from Dorney. What a flex. Or maybe it's not a flex. Do you deal with a lot of the traffic late at night when everybody's leaving? Because that is a mess. Trying to get out of Dorney Park after their haunt ended was such a nightmare. It took like almost an hour. Almost an hour. Oh my goodness. Can they just kill the music? This is getting so silly. <laughs> this is getting so silly. I think I feel like they're just putting it on repeat on purpose. I don't know how they control this. And this girl, it's 10 o'clock. It's time for her to shut shut down the songs. Stop it with the copyrighted songs. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's still going. There's still so many people here. Oh my gosh. Yo, they, they've been rotating between like two or three songs. Your cookie's got the parental seal of approval. Wow. That sounds like a big deal. So I'm going to give you like a quick round of applause with this one hand. I don't know if you can hear it over the copyright music, but yeah, that's awesome. I wish I had award-winning cookies. That sounds amazing. Oh my goodness. Now, now there's only two groups ahead of me, I think. Two? Three. I can't tell. I'm so close here. I'm so close to the, the funnel cake. Mm. Waiting to see if that girl's going to leave. I mean, I think next... Up, we're gonna talk about all roller coasters I didn't get to ride this summer. Actually, speaking of that, I had a lot of bad luck with those bobsled style uh, roller coasters. Like Avalanche, that never opened at, um, oh, there it goes. So Avalanche at King's Dominion, bobsled coaster. Then it's, uh, is it just called the bobsled coaster? The old Sarajevo bobsleds that used to be here, those are up at the Great Escape. That was also closed. It only opened like certain weekends over the summer when it was like its busiest. And then, um, where's the other one? Oh, uh, Flying Turns at Knobel, another bobsled coaster. For whatever reason, this entire season, I did not get on one bobsled coaster. All three of those would have been unique to me, but I just got unlucky and eventually I am going to have to do that. Wicked Woods is better with Skrillex. Do you like put in headphones and play Skrillex while you go through Wicked Woods? Is that what you do? Because that's something I would do. That could be fun. But yeah, for some reason, no bobsled coasters for me yet. And eventually, I will have to backtrack and try to get on all three of them. Because I am a completionist. And it would be very nice to get on all of those. Oh, here we go. Oh, the music is playing again. I just totally spaced out. Shoot, that music is playing. My girl just playing the same song over. I know, don't you get like, imagine doing an entire shift there? I would get so sick of that song. Make sure you just add that you don't own the rights to the music while you edit. No, you'll get pinged. There's the automated service that the YouTube copyright bots have and they'll just do that last year they played dubstep at wicked woods i don't remember that that's kind of crazy <laughs> but yeah that poor girl has to hear that the all these songs over and over and over it's kind of wild all right we're next we're next we're next <laughs> I'm just I'm hoping that they're doing it because I the the scream cake so I don't see it here where are you scream cake people just be ordering the uh, the regular one or the Oreos a lot of people ordering Oreos <laughs> you've ridden avalanche lucky what a flex I don't remember the Skrillex last year. I did go through Wicked Woods last year, but I, d I don't remember. Let's see.
so much stuff still looks open. There's still so many people here. Did I ever, basketball, yes. Did you ever ride Batman and Robin, The Chiller, or Rolling Thunder? Yes. And if we're talking about the Funk Coaster, I also rode the Great American Scream Machine. The more dubstep appreciation, the better. I mean, Batman and, the, Batman and Robin was rough, though. You guys know that, right? It was like... I remember girls losing earrings. Like, their earrings would get torn out. It was bad. It was real bad. Like, that was a rough ride. It was beautiful to look at when both of the trains were going and they were kind of all intertwisting and stuff. But no. It was bad. You would, like, knock your head around real nasty. I don't have good memories of that ride. I do have nostalgia for it because it was, like, one of the first of its kind. But, in general, it was it was rough and not worth it. Not worth it. It was such a tiny little short ride. Unique experience, though, for sure. Alright, I'm next. I'm next. Here we go, here we go. So, we get in... Oh, I don't even see them with the Snickers anywhere. You know good with rough rides? Yeah. I don't know if it has a super bad reputation. I used to think it was amazing and it aged just really poorly like most arrows. They definitely ran into the ground though. They ran it hard. All right. Hey, could I have a funnel cake? Do you have the one with the Snickers on it? Okay, so can I have the uh, the funnel cake with the, the Snickers and chocolate sauce? Yeah, just no whipped cream? Yeah, the... Uh, yeah, just don't put whipped cream on it, please. Sir, you can't do whipped cream. You can't not add it? You don't want whipped cream? No, no, thank you. Just, just Snickers. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's okay. I didn't see it pop up here. No, it's okay. I just I know you want to go home. <laughs> uh, I thank thank you so much. Uh, it didn't it didn't read. No, yeah, I saw that you guys were really fast. How many funnel cakes do you think you make one day? Wow. That's crazy. So maybe like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Have a good night. You too. Alright, sorry about that guys. But we're here now. No, they, they were really nice. They were really nice. I was trying to ask her um, to not get whipped cream on there and they had like she turned around they had already made ev like the whole thing with the whipped cream and so i was like okay it's fine i'll just take it and uh and she said no we're going to get it right like was very insistent but i can't believe that they make 1000 funnel cakes a day that is just insanity pure insanity could you imagine oh my god i'd be having nightmares about funnel cakes if i made that many funnel cakes Jeez, that's just crazy.
anyway right now I'm in operation wait for the crowds to clear out so that's kind of what we're doing right now hot take Millennium Force greater than I-305 greater than Fury 325 greater than Orion greater than Leviathan dang what did Leviathan do to you to deserve such a low rating that is that is what I'm gonna say sir what happened did Leviathan like what happened Leviathan come and kick your dog or something what the heck Wildcat needs to be RMC to replace it got retracked not too long ago, did it? Hold on, I'm gonna take off my mask and stuff so I can start eating this thing. Hello. I have a face. No, it's no big deal. I would have scraped it off. I just don't enjoy the flavor. It's just sugar. I already have so much sugar going on with this thing that, I don't know, more sugar wasn't gonna help I don't really like the flavor but they didn't put the chocolate sauce on unfortunately but whatever like I said ain't complaining just gonna enjoy and you always gotta fight for a cup of cheese <laughs> oh man hey we fight for what we love Tried to get away from the copyright music. So it was a it was a weird night, wasn't it? Saw some crazy crazy lines. I'm trying to move the uh, the camera. He's allergic to dogs, oh no. <laughs> oh man, my bad. So then whose house did Leviathan go to? Oh my gosh, whose dog was that? But no, Leviathan is one of my faves. I have not been on a roller coaster like that before. I rode that before I did I-305 and Millennium Force. <laughs> Triple can shakers, those are dangerous. There's still a line back there for the um, that Twix flippy ride. <laughs> the one scare actor that got away. <laughs> a lot of the scare actors here refer to me as YouTube man. It is really funny. Actually, my refillable mug or the the thing. That's actually full of water for me. And I have more water in the car for the ride home. Um, I have not been to Carowinds yet. That is another one that's high on my list for next year. Because I don't think they do yearly operations, right? Basically right now, my plan is to go to the Texas parks and the California parks that are open all year during the off season. Which one is better to you guys, Steel Force or Phantom's Revenge? Do they not enforce it? I don't know. I've heard such bad things about line cutting lately. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know. I'm excited for Fury 325. I. I'm hoping it's good. 
I hear a lot of people say really good things about it, so I don't know. We shall see. You, I am YouTube man. I need to get to Carolyn's. <laughs> Steel Force over Phantom's Revenge. Okay. Okay. I'm not YouTube man. I do this for fun on the weekends, guys. I hope you all know that. Like, I have a regular job. <laughs> like, there's a reason I can afford to do the things that I do, and that's because I have a regular job. <laughs> One thing for sure, if you can get out to Kennywood, definitely recommend it, especially for their classic roller coasters, because they have three of them that have been well maintained since like the 1920s. It's ridiculous. So we got a couple Steel Forces, only ridden Steel Force. The reason I ask is because a lot of people compare it the two together. <laughs> this is not corporate enthusiast content. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. I mean, isn't it technically because Six Flags gave me a media clearance to go through the mazes with a camera? Well, I guess this technically, but the maze one, maybe? I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm starting to get a little crazy with the sugar right now. I don't know who Darman is. Mmm. The racer... Is it Jackrabbit that I'm thinking of that's really good? Where it goes into a valley and then it comes back up and then it comes around and then does that again. And then you hit a lip hill to go around again. It's so good. They're not going to RMC Thunderhawk. They would never. Kennywood is great, but honestly, I don't know why Steel Curtain gets as much love as it does. That thing is painful. It's like the newest, most painfulest thing I've been on. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? There's this chick that has like car content, but she clearly has no idea what she's talking about. So they get her, some company bought her a, like a racing sim computer. And she, the way she talked about the computer specs, she clearly had no idea what she was talking about with the computers either. It seems like she was just like a hype person or something that got really popular and now she's trying to fake it by just talking about stuff. And I always fear, when I come on here and make my vlogs and stuff like that, that I'm not going to talk about enough with about the roller coasters or about the, the parks that I'm at with any expertise that it's going to make me accidentally look phony when I'm just, you know, I, I'm only sharing what I know. But some people try to fake it so bad that it's just so obnoxious. When is Tron going to open? I'm guessing if they're going to announce a, an opening date anytime soon, it's going to be at Destination D. But other than that, it would be ridiculous, but unsurprising if they waited until fiscal year next year. So like after October 1st, 2022. Yeah, Shell Razor was amazing the first day that I got to ride it which was like in February 20 no 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 November or October of 2019 then I went back February to 2020 it was getting a little rough then I rode it again in September of 2020 and it was awful it hurt so much have a good night Eclipse thanks for joining Time is it? It is 10:20, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, anyone else in between or not associated with the other two genders? Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah. 
So like, I totally am just sharing adventures that I am going on. But because this isn't tied to like how I'm living, to my paycheck and stuff, I don't feel compelled to do daily vlogging, to do half-ass types of content, you know? I only do it because I want to do it. And that's the big difference between when people are doing it to actually survive versus people who are doing it because it's just for fun. I feel like most people, most viewers, can pick up on the authenticity or the genuine feel of it if you're just going through it. What do you mean by down the rabbit hole stuff? Because I was going to tell you guys that um, once this Fright Fest is done, most of the content that I made was because I was going crazy going to all of these different parks. I went to every park and amusement center that has a roller coaster within a six hour driving radius of me. So like I've officially put that to bed and knowing that I'm only going to probably do like a new park once a month because it will require me to take some sort of flight or something, right? So how do I fill in in between? And so that's got me thinking, um, I might do stuff like history, I might do top tens, I might have to branch out into other types of content. I do not know. When someone gets way too inform informational about stuff, do you mean like, I don't know, rattling off the, the expedition theme parks, the defunct lands, and stuff like that? Because there's a couple of ones of videos in that style that I've kind of wanted to do that they haven't done. That balloon lady is still going and yelling. Right now, South Korea is not anywhere in my plans. Japan is, hopefully, I'm hoping to go to Japan next year. I'm actually learning Japanese. I have a friend that I met in California who is from Tokyo. And yeah, I'm hoping to be able to go to Japan next year. But South Korea, I haven't really looked into. One of my low-key goals is to visit all of the Disney parks that are around the world and uh, more or less also the Universal ones. I've heard Universal Japan is crazy good though. Yeah, I have a vlog all about my experience riding Velocicoaster in my channel. I rode it, I think, I hit 25 rides so far. So I did 10 um, the opening weekend in June. And then while I was there for Halloween Horror Nights, I would wake up early every day, ride it a few times, and then I would, um, I would go back to the hotel, take a nap, and then go back out for Horror Nights. But yeah, Velocicoaster is amazing. It's starting to get a little rougher than I remember. Uh, at least when I rode it back in mid-September, but still, it's just such a well-paced roller coaster. I've never experienced anything like that before and I feel like it makes um, Incredible Hulk feel a little out of date in comparison because of the way that they do the inversions and stuff like that. I mean Universal Japan is going off real hard especially with the stuff from that they announced recently for Donkey Kong and uh, Pokemon. Forget it. That park is in a class of their own now. Nobody's touching them for years. Which is a shame because Disney could have been pioneering stuff, but they just haven't. They went all in on Star Wars, and I feel like it was a gamble that didn't pay off. Ohayo um, gozaimasu. That's good morning, buddy. 
It is evening, so come by now. Yes, back row is amazing. My favorite still is like row nine or somewhere around there where the intensity of the whip isn't as pronounced because you kind of lose some air time because of it. My favorite thing about row nine is that when you're going over the top hat for Velocicoaster, you get up in the air and you go over the entire top hat before your butt hits the seat. It's amazing. Uh, what coasters did I ride today? Um, I went on Oscar's Wacky Taxi <laughs> over at Sesame Place before coming here. I only came here to do the live stream, to be honest, to kind of just soak in the vibes with y'all. Nitro or Bizarro? Uh, Nitro. I got to give it to Nitro. One second. My goodness there's no end to that song this dang copywritten music all right put a hurting on that let's flip this around what was the best haunted attraction do you mean like haunted house because if that's what you're asking i would say blood on the bayou followed by um tourist trap Basically, any of the indoor ones that have permanent structures, minus Trick or Treat, which was not the best. Oh, dang it. I think I see my friend who's a clown up ahead. Hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to walk a little faster. I'm trying to, but I'm failing. Wow, look at this! Looks like they're all clocking out. <laughs> Is this the worst theme park for theming? Oh no. There's parks that have just zero theming and are just not even trying. This one tried at one point. <laughs> and they sort of tried with, um, with Jersey Devil. No, there's some that just gave up. I'm not gonna catch up to my friend. The haunts at Scary Rotten are amazing. I thought it was amazing. I had a great time that night. <laughs> I didn't like corn stalkers this year. Maybe I had a bad run or something, but holy smokes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd still be in line. Is this even allowed? At some point they gotta they gotta close the line, no? What on earth? This is insane guys. Oh my gosh. How long do you guys keep these lines open? Um, it's it's kind of crazy to see a line this long after you've been closed. That's for sure. This is one of the scarier things of the night at Fight Fest. Trick or treat had a long line and was very short. I think Steel Force might have been longer. And there's still like a decent amount of people here. My goodness. No, I've definitely been there years before where Corn Stalkers was much better. Yeah. 
I mean, they probably shouldn't have let the kid go in there with the with the parent or just let them pulse through by themselves so they can just walk through and then it doesn't affect the experience of anybody else. Man. It's still a mess here. Oh my gosh. It's 10.30 and there's still lines pouring out. This, this is nuts. Normally I would cut the stream here, but I'm gonna just show you some more. Like if you guys are down to watch more, I'm gonna share more of the craziness here. Steel Force front row night ride. I can't say I've done that. Front row at night? Huh. I'm gonna make a mental note of that. Yo, seriously, get into the funnel cake business. You'll make so much money. <laughs> Thanks. Pray for me at the ofrenda. We're going to try to get out of this parking lot before midnight. <laughs> You think it's because of the rain yesterday? I don't know. I have no idea why it got so crazy today, but this is just inhuman. <laughs> There's just so many people here still. So. And I know people are gonna be here until like 11, 11.30 easily. <laughs> that would be cool if they did like a parent swap, child swap whatever it's called that type of thing all right give me one second i forgot to put my mask on i don't feel like getting a cold from this horde of people but yeah I, what why would you even as a parent like if you were a parent, would you take your kid through a haunted maze when they're still at that stage where they're gripping your leg for out of fear? That's such a strange move to me. Like, would you do that? I don't know. Uh, I would feel guilty put my kid through that because inevitably what happens is that they, you make it to the end and they're bawling their eyes out or traumatized in some way. Yeah, this is nuts. And this is a half hour after the park closes. The reason I say it's nuts is because normally, crowds ain't like this, the parking lot is not like this. Normally, if I wait a half hour until after the park closes, that's because there's like nobody here and I wanted a nice little slow, quiet walk back to the car. This is next level. How did we, on earth did we get to 44 likes? Are people just sh popping up into the stream and then liking it and then disappearing? So that's what it sounds like. I'm trying to see if like Green Lantern's still running. I highly doubt King Dakar is still running. It builds character. <laughs> Old order thinking. <laughs> What's new order thinking then? Wow, we've been going for two hours and 36 minutes, you guys. That's not bad. Thanks for hanging out with me, especially while I had the, uh, that, uh, I am so sugared up. What the heck? I can't even remember what I just ate. A funnel cake. A funnel scream cake. Hold the whipped cream. I'm like, looking here and don't see 
anything, no action with Green Lantern. I wonder if the rides closed early or something, or if they kept the lines. You gotta start them young. <laughs> New order would be not to bring them. Yeah, I had fun with the stream. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do anything like this next Sunday, because um, I'll be away. I'm hoping to be able to do at least one more stream uh, the weekend of Halloween, and then I'll probably be taking a break, like a two-week break, until holiday and the park stuff ramps up again because i might have maybe a little bit burned myself out doing all the halloween content so yeah i definitely am going to take a break oh gosh i oh man i would love to go find any of those hus or hoose flat rides just one they should get a flyers in this park i know it's not the best capacity but they should get one anyway two they should get um oh now i'm not going to remember it um it's like it almost looks like an enterprise but the, it's on they're all on individual arms so while they're spinning around they're also going up and down it's so good trying to think of another high capacity flat ride like that uh they should get a casino in here that would be an easy one an easy win for them um i can't remember if they have a himalaya here anymore but what they should get is like a thunderbolt style ride just one that spins forwards and backwards really loud music that type of thing hope i have melatonin to sleep <laughs> No, I haven't watched This Is How We Roll yet. That's a documentary, right? I definitely got to make time to check that out. Maybe this week I will. Oh, we still have so much walking to do. There's people here waiting for... These people here are waiting for the shuttle to go over to Hurricane Harbor. Yeah, they used to have a music express, huh? I hope El Toro is back up and running real early next year. It opens when they open next season. That's my goal, or my hope. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I, I'll, no, I'll be fine to sleep. I still have like the hour drive ahead to let the sugar kind of subside. <laughs> the sugar stop affecting me so much, so I should be okay. Uh, let's, let's get some views of the uh, roller coasters while we're here. But yeah, there's people waiting to get shuttled over to Hurricane Harbor's parking lot. Isn't that crazy? Um, actually, one thing I didn't mention. Uh, I said that I probably won't have time to live stream, but I mean in the parks. I am thinking of maybe just doing like a chill live stream during the week. Just something like where I build like the coaster cutouts of El Toro or Jersey Devil Coaster or something. Like just chill, have the camera pointed at that, and just chat about whatever we want to talk about while I build one of those models. That could be fun. Spooky season is the best season. I don't know why. It kind of feels like it's over, and maybe that's because I've been going hard with it since, like, September 10th. And it's a lot. <laughs> been all over the place now. And this week, I think we'll be posting stuff from Six Flags America, Sesame Place, another one from Great Adventure during their Fright Fest Power Hours, and then an old vlog that I still need to post, which is from Canopy Lake Park. And that should round out the week and catch me up. The only other thing I am gonna go check out that's new is the uh, American Dreams uh, little spooky thing. All right, I'm gonna try to get some light here and then we can finally say good night. I'm still shocked that there's 17 of you here. I am literally walking in a Great Adventure parking lot. This is not very exciting. Or maybe you like it because King of Ka's right there. I don't know. Oh, Action Park. Dude, I'm old enough to have been to Action Park. Class Action Park slash Traction Park. I have a scar from that place. 
all right guys i am almost at my car here thank you guys for uh keeping me company while i waited for the crowds to kind of dissipate here uh it was a fun and very crazy night and i'm glad i had you guys with me so be on the lookout i guess for a couple more videos this week it's going to start slowing down as the spooky season comes to an end i'm probably not going to be doing a live stream here on halloween because it's just it's way too much and unfortunately because of where it lies i'm going to have work the following day so like it's just not going to work for me to to be here till like 10 or midnight or whenever they close and being super uh super uh tired for work the next day but um the thing i will probably try to do is something on the 30th that might be um hershey park in the dark but that only op uh, is open till nine so it's going to be tough to try to do a live stream then because i haven't done a, f a main vlog for it but i will certainly try um the other thing that i have lined up is going to american dream and checking out the spooky stuff that's there but the other stuff that i'm doing i i, I got invited to go to miami for their um their carnival of horror or something like that miami carnival horror carnival so i'm going to be checking that out and a couple other things so there's a lot of stuff planned we'll see if we can get to it all but for now thank you so much again for spending some time with me and i'll hopefully see you real soon i will let you guys know about uh, i will schedule something soon for um like building one of those coaster cutouts and just kind of chatting about stuff all right so have a great night Thank you again, and I will see you soon. Bye.